Hey, what's going on guys? It's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller on sites like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, and I love sharing my reseller life here with you on this channel. If you're returning, welcome back. Today I have a 90-day update on a box I opened from Jomar. It was a trendy handbags box, and I opened this back in November. I think the video aired in like December. So I wanna tell you guys a little bit about what has sold out of that box, and uh, I will give you a final assessment at the end of whether or not I would pick this up again and whether I think it was worth picking up in the first place. So if you love reseller content, if you're into unboxing videos, my 90-day updates, I also do thrift hauls and just reseller tips and tricks in general, Certainly consider subscribing to my channel. I do post content a few times a week and I would love to have you again in, in another video. Drop me a like if you find this helpful. If you love these 90 day updates, let me know you're into this kind of content. All right, let's jump right in. So this box initially, my cost was approximately $81.36, which means I probably had some kind of coupon and then with the shipping and everything, uh, it came to $81.36. I ended up pulling out a total of 18 that I intended to listed. Of those 18, I found two that I just, after further review, decided not to list. Um, so there was a total of 16. That brought my cost of goods down to $4.52 based on the 18. Um, there were eight that I've sold so far and eight that I have left. So what I'll do is I'll take you through each sale. I'll post it over here on the side so you can see. I'll talk about what platform it sold on and how much I got for it and how much it, how long it took to till it sold, um, if I remember. And um, then I'll show you guys what hasn't sold yet, what I have left. And at the end, I will give you my final assessment of whether or not this was worth picking up and whether or not I would buy another one. Uh, so starting with the lowest profiting item this who what where bag it was like a black drawstring bucket bag trendy i guess uh, i think who what where is not really a super um you know it wasn't real or anything it wasn't real leather it was just you know um vegan leather and uh, that sold uh for 16 dollars on poshmark so my profit being eight dollars and 28 cents then the Zara bag, which this was a gorgeous bag. I mean, it was in great shape. I just, you know, Zara doesn't have that high of a retail value, uh, a resale value, but I did get $18 for that one. So $9.88 profit. That one sold on eBay uh, after about five weeks. And um, the Who What Wear bag sold in about a month, by the way. And then this Hobo bag was actually the first to go. It was unbranded. I I knew nothing about it. Like it had no branding, no description, um, but it actually sold on Poshmark within the first week. I listed it for 25 and I sent an offer. So I ended up making $11, uh, which I'm okay with considering it was like completely unbranded and I had no idea how to even describe it. Um, then the Vera Bradley bag sold on Poshmark for 20 bucks. That sat for almost the full 90 days and it got some attention, but I guess Vera Bradley's not worth what I thought it was because finally somebody offered me 20 and I just took it because no one else was buying it. I originally listed it for 40. So then this fossil wallet, which I thought this was pretty cool and it looked kind of vintage that sold on Kitizen. I think I listed it for 30 with free shipping because I have here that it was uh, $23. Uh, so I made $13.88 on that one. Um, that was a surprising thing to sell on Kitizen, but hey, I'll take it. Um, then the Steve Madden bag. And this bag, the quilted style really is in style right now. And um, so this one got a ton of interest, a tons of likes on all platforms, some really low ball offers, but no takers. So finally, I got a $25 offer on eBay and I did go ahead and take it, but that was almost at the 90 day mark. I mean, it had been sitting for a full 90 days almost. So I'm glad to have it gone though. And I'm glad to have it count towards the profit on this box. Um, $15 about that I got on that one. Uh, then two more, the little Vera Bradley bag, the, it was like a, a crossbody. That one actually sold on Facebook for $30. Um, so that one I made $19, a little bit more than that because Facebook doesn't really take a fee. And then the top selling item in this box was the Patagonia sling backpack, which is no surprise. It got a ton of interest right away, a few lowball offers. 
I listed it for 45 based on the condition issue. It ended up selling for $40 on eBay. Somebody sent me an offer, so I went ahead and took it. Um, so that was the biggest selling item, about a $27 profit. So that's everything that sold. A few things that haven't sold. Um, well, let's start with what's surprising. I've got this Urban Expressions bag. Um, this one is getting some interest, but it hasn't sold yet. Uh, the La Sport Sack, which I guess is actually kind of a higher end thing, but uh, this one's really ugly, I guess. I don't know. This one's still sitting here. I've recently dropped the price all the way down to $15. Still no takers. Um, these little triangle clutch things, although they're new with tags, I've had no interest on these really. Uh, and then the coach bag, um, you know, somebody early on offered me 15 bucks on this and I uh, countered because I thought that was too low and then they declined my counter. Um, when in the grand scheme of things, now I can't get rid of it. So I kind of wish I would have taken the 15, but that is still sitting here as well. Um, if you're interested in any of the stuff I have left, the links to my stores are all down below. You can check them out. Uh, just to recap, I paid $81.36. My total profit as of right now is $71.72. Um, so I'm a little less than double, almost to the double mark. One more sale will put me at double. Um, would I purchase this again? Probably not. Handbags really aren't my thing. I'm not good at styling handbags. and I'm not really like a fan of selling things without a brand. So I did get lucky on that one bag, but... I actually didn't even list this stuff right away because I don't love it and I it's not something I'm in the flow of listing. This stuff kind of sat here for a while and I look at it every day like, man, I need to list those bags. Man, I need to list those bags. And then like finally I just buckled down and did it. For being something I don't enjoy to only double my money, no, I probably wouldn't buy this one again. Um, but I'm glad I tried it. You know, I, I got a good deal on it. My cost of goods was low enough. It was worth giving it a try. So I'm, I don't regret trying it, but uh, probably not the direction I'll go in the future. So let me know what you guys think. Have you purchased this ba this box from Jomar? Have you had a similar experience or was yours different? Definitely let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, again, drop me a like if you found this helpful, if you were thinking about maybe buying one of these for yourself. And yeah, definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Again, I am posting content a couple times a week, and I would love to see you again in a future video. But that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.